together. Okay, so uh, let's start with transaction of banking as promised. Yeah, that's our first uh, topic. Oh, sorry, that's our first chapter. Yes, it can also be, uh, be our first topic as well. And uh, under this, we shall be discussing the following subtopics. Are uh, we together? Okay, if that should be the case, I know you are here with me. All together, and uh, we are going to do it together. Uh, isn't it a job machine? It has it. Yeah, we are doing it together. Now, uh, firstly, we are discussing... Uh, sorry? Now, this is just like uh, an examination of... Uh, guide okay so you are expected to explain the concept of revenue recognition for both and the various types of revenue uh such as interest income commission sale of financial instrument and financial intimidation and also determine which of these streams of income would qualify as revenue and all other income under the relevant accounting standards specifically the ifrs 15 and also explain the accounting treatment of edging transactions and discuss its income tax uh, implications. And also, you are to define and explain the various financing arrangements and loan relationships engaged in by both you, including but not restricted to syndicated loans and sale and leaseback arrangements. And also, you are expected to discuss the CIT exemption order for the exemption of short term securities bonds, section 23, subsection 1 of CITA, that discuss about securities, okay? And their uh, impact on the taxation of banks are uh, we together? Okay, so also you have to differentiate between income and in the ordinary course of business and income and outside the ordinary course of business that is, sale of shares by a company and the sales of shares by a brokerage uh, company. Are uh, we together? And finally, finally, you should be able to discuss at the end of this chapter contemporary issues such as the impact of Section 19 on banks, whose major source of income is exempted from income tax, amongst others. Are we together? Okay, if that should be this case, if that should be the case, now we start with concepts of revenue recognition for banks yeah i know you are here with me and uh, we are rolling in together we roll together we roll together now what do you understand by financial institution is it school of money or school because i know when we mention institution uh what uh what comes to our mind first is a uh, skill Okay, maybe or college, university. Let me say institution. I'm going to higher institution. So that's a, be it. Could, it could be a university or a polytechnic or a college. Okay, so I'm going to inst a institute, a institute of so, so 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 and so. Now in this case, we have financial institution. What are they doing in there? Anyway, I would like to tell you that a financial institution is a company engaged in business. Of dealing with financial and monetary transactions such as deposits, loans, investments, and currency exchange. And it is not a school. It is what? It is a business. Are we there? Okay. And they are in, in that business, what are they doing? Are they selling money? Or are they buying money? Okay. Or are they printing money? Now, what they do is that they deal with financial and monetary transactions. Okay. Such as deposits, you go to bank, you put your money there, you, you, you put it as a savings, or you operate as a current account. Then you can also obtain loans to finance your business, loan for bank overdraft and the like, and also investment purposes. Some also use the money, or they put the money in a fixed deposit, or in which what it earns them some interest, it earns them some interest income. Are it together and also currency exchange. Yeah, your company or you are you you need to purchase some items from uh, from uh, from uh, from country other than Nigeria, which uh their currency is different from Nigeria. Uh, to say for instance, uh, you want to purchase a, uh, an item from uh China, okay, 
and uh, the trade policy is to is that what you purchase using their currency over there okay you know here in nigeria there's no way you could get what uh china currency okay so the only the only thing you can do or the best thing to to do or the or the best way of getting this to your hand is to what is to go to the borrower exchange or you go to bank and you exchange your money so legally you should go to bank they are the financial institution they are legally permitted okay they are allowed to do that for you instead of going to a black market okay instead of going through what instead of going through a back uh, black black sorry uh that's my father tongue or should i say my mother tongue no 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 yeah back in class financial institutions that compass a broad range of business operations within the financial sector uh including banks trust companies insurance companies brokerage firms and investment uh, dealers are we together okay so virtually everyone living in a developed economy has an ongoing or at least periodic need for the services of financial institutions yes or yes yes if you do away without uh using the services of a financial institution then it seems you are inviting those brothers you know them okay those guys okay your friend okay uh those guys with this kind of uh um what, what would i name that okay i know you understand where i'm uh driving at okay so in order to avoid uh any uh symptoms of robbery or the likes okay you should make use of what the financial institutions even if it's a 10 naira you have, you have all uh you have uh, at hand okay so you should go and save it in bank to avoid what you avoid being robbed out uh, together so financial institutions can operate as several skills for from local community credit unions to international investment um, banks okay so let's take the types of financial institutions in our area in our great nation and uh, worldwide yeah finan uh, financial institutions offer a wide range of products and services for individual and commercial clients is that fair to you to start with we have our uh, commercial banks the likes of zenith bank first bank access uh okay demo that has gone uh we also have fcmb we have fidelity we have a uh, uba we have union bank we have keystone bank and like if i didn't mention your bank please uh permit me for that and i uh, next time i might okay <laughs> I, i'm not promising because if i should promise you and that's when Emmanuel will come oh sorry is that your name i'm sorry so that's when you will come and tell me oh sir you uh you promised to mention my bank but you didn't and i i, I can't you know i don't want to be held liable for any words or uh, statements uttered by me so now a commercial bank is where most people do their banking as opposed to an investment bank yes or yes yes isn't it yeah correct okay if i'm correct i proceed a uh, commercial bank is a type of financial institutions that would accept deposits offer checking account services makes business personnel and mortgage loans and offers basic financial products like certificates of deposits and service account to individuals and small businesses so banks and similar business entities such as thrifts or credit unions offer what offer the most commonly recognized and frequently used financial services such as checking service accounts like i mentioned or mortgages and other types of loans for retail and commercial customers is that clear okay now we also have investment banks investments what investments are banks 
Our investment bank specializes in providing services designed to facilitate business operations such as capital expenditure financing and equity offerings, including initial public uh, offerings. So they also commonly offer brokerage services. Brokerage. So let me write it down because I might not pronounce it as you are, uh, you know, okay, because of my father's tongue, okay, or maybe my mother's tongue. So now also we have our brokerage uh, services for investors. They also act as market makers for trading uh, exchanges and uh, they are also what a manager or they manage managers acquisitions and other corporate restructuring corporate what corporate restructuring are we together okay so let's take insurance company insurance company are also what classified as other financial institutions they are not bank but they are other financial institutions are we together so uh among the most familiar non-banking or non-bank financial institutions are insurance companies providing what's providing insurance services whether for individuals or corporations it is one of the oldest financial services are we together yeah if you agree that so protection of assets and protection against financial risks secured through insurance products is an essential service that facilitates individual and corporate investment that fuel economic uh, growth isn't it yes i agree with you sir thank you my students now we have a uh, brokerage firms as well um investment companies and brokerages such as mutual fund and exchange traded fund provider uh, fidelity investments specialized in providing investment services that include wealth management and uh, financial advisory services so they also uh, they also provide access to investment products that may range from stocks and bonds all the way to lesser known alternative investments such as edge funds edge funds are what and private equity investment private equity investment uh we together yes sir thank you great student we are progressing right okay so also we have us uh sorry sorry just some minutes okay so let's discuss various types of revenue business okay various types of us various types of revenue various types of revenue are we together so what are the various types of revenue you know various type of revenue for what for both of you various types of revenue for both of you i know you are you are seeing it on the screen nevertheless i will take you through okay so now uh we have our uh, interest income interest income is the amount of interest that has been earned during a specific time period or during a specific period of time these amounts can be compared to the investment balance to estimate the return on investment that a business is generating in other words the amount of interest may have been may have been what may have been paid in cash or it may have been accrued as having been earned but not yet paid so in the latter case that is if it has been earned but not yet paid interest income should only be recorded if receipt of cash is what is probable if receipt of cash is probable and you can ascertain the amount of the payment to be received okay it is probable and you can what you can ascertain 
the amount of the payment to be received. So interest income is earned from investment that pays interest such as in a savings account of certificates of deposits. Okay, savings account of what? Of certificates of uh, deposit. So it is not the same as a dividend which is paid to the holders of a company's common stock or preferred stock holders and which represent a distribution of the company's retained what? A distribution of the company's uh, retained uh, earnings. Okay, so let's take commission. Commission is what is the rather value catch all term. Okay, and it is used by banks and other financial institutions to describe a set or range of fees for some of the services they provide. Okay, so basically they can charge for what they like. So that's commission. So it could be five percent on all services rendered. Or ten percent, or so it depends on the terms and conditions of the contract. Uh, we together, okay. So, uh, in other words, a commission is a service charge assessed by a broker or investment advisor. By who? By a broker or investment advisor. Advisor. Okay, so for what for providing investment advice or handling purchases and sales of securities for who for a client. So full service brokerages derive much of their profits from what from uh, charging commissions on client transactions. Okay, charging or charging commissions on client uh, transactions. So commissions vary widely from brokerages to brokerage. So it depends on the terms of uh, of agreement and each has its own schedule for various uh, services okay however if the order is what okay sorry let's uh let's stop there okay uh now sales of financial or sales of financial instruments okay sales of financial instruments now uh as we all know that the money markets are what are wholesale uh, market for dealing in what for dealing in short term uh, lending for dealing with short term lending and borrowing and uh, for trading short detailed financial instruments are we together okay so now uh also uh like i mentioned that it is a it is what it's a wholesale market for dealing in short term lending and borrowing and um, for trading short was short Dated uh, financial or short dated uh, financial instrument. Okay, so uh, wholesale markets are markets for what are uh, markets for large uh, value transactions. Okay, they are markets for what for large value transactions. Why what why short dated okay or short term financial instrument or what a financial instrument that have what that have uh, one year are we together? Or less, okay. They have what they have uh, one year or what or less uh, to uh, to maturity when they are issued. So such include treasury bills, bills, bills of exchange, commercial paper, and the likes. Okay. So now we are we are we are we are moving. Okay. So the 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 the, the main money markets are what. The main money markets are the interbank markets, interbank markets, okay, and the uh, repo markets, okay. Are we together? So there are there are international money markets for all the main currencies, okay. For example, London is a what is a major money market center. Which operates large money markets in the United States dollars, euros, yen, Swiss francs, and Canadian dollars, as well as sterling. Is that clear to you? And the purpose of this money market is what is to provide short-term liquidity to entities needing what needing money uh, uh, specifically when you want to trade them uh, when you want to trade with uh companies abroad. Okay, so. Oh, you are a multinational, what's a multinational company? 
<coughs> sorry. So, uh, so another purpose of this money market is to what is uh, to create opportunities to open opportunities for entities with surplus was surplus uh, liquidity. Are we together? Okay. So we've taken this right. So what are the purpose of the money market? I've mentioned this as well. So that is is to uh, what is to provide short term liquidity to entities needing money and to what it opens opportunities for entities with surplus or to surplus uh, liquidity. Okay, so banks are the most active participants in the money market, but some large companies also have direct access to the market. Smaller companies and individuals might be offered an opportunity by their bank to borrow or lend out money market interest rates. And their access to the money market is what is made through the bank. Okay, so this means that companies are able to borrow or deposit money short term in the world in the money market through their bank. And when they participate, mind you, through their bank, they can or they can borrow or lend much smaller amounts of money than the normal size of money market uh, transactions. Are we together? So money market also would also provide ready access to short-term borrowing and lending opportunities in what in foreign uh, currency other than what other than local or other than local currency are we together so let's take the interbank market the interbank market is a market for borrowing and lending large amounts of money for a short term often overnight for one day but possibly up to one year are we together so as the name uh, of the market indicates the interbank market it is mainly a market for borrowing or lending between banks but as explained earlier companies are able to participate directly or through their bank so when they participate through their bank they can borrow or lend much smaller quantities of words of money so interest rates in the interbank market vary according to the duration of the loan and the credit rating or credit status of the borrowing uh, bank Okay, of the words of the borrowing bank. So banks with very, a very high credit rating are able to what are able to borrow at lower rates than banks with a lower credit worth than banks with a lower credit rating. Okay, so the interest rate charge to top quality banks are what are therefore uh monitored. For instance, in the in London, a number of banks report that their borrowings rates to the British Bankers Association BBA each day and the british bankers associations bba british bankers association uh uses this rate to determine the average borrowing rates for what for top rated uh, banks now let's take the repo market i know when i mentioned repo market uh the other time i knew you uh, as a student you'll be uh conscious that i was the meaning of what of repo and this guy didn't mention i uh, didn't explain it in detail now here we are a repo is a sale and repurchases transaction. It is a what? Sale and repurchases transaction. Repo. Repurchases what? Transaction. Sales and repurchases transaction. And uh, in repo, a party or in repo transaction, one party sells a quantity of short dated bonds or money market securities to the other party and at the same time undertakes to buy them back at a specified future date at a higher price so it's just like a form of uh, uh of borrowing okay of borrowing so it's just that you give what you have to to get what you don't have is that clear you give what you have to get what you don't have have so then in the future dates you want to pay back what you don't have you get with what you have then you are also get back what you exchange for what you don't have in a later date in the future is that clear to you yes sir now if that is clear we are good to go uh for example a a a, a, a bank let's say bank a might arrange a repo transaction with bank b in which bank a sells a quantity of short dated government bonds and money market instrument to what to bank b for say twenty dollar or do you want me to use million? Uh, sorry, you want to use Naira because Nigeria is a great country. For $20 million, sorry, sorry, $20 million Naira. And I'm going to buy them back after 14 days forward 
for 22 million naira. Wow, that's nice. 2 million naira within 14 days. How much salary do you want to pay me? Should I come? So, you can see this is very, 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 uh, quite, uh, paying. Okay. So, within 14 days, I have 14, uh, I have 2 million extra. Please, please, please. I am a repo market. Come and invest in me. Now, back to class. So, in, re in effect, a repo transaction is a short time secured loan. It is a what is a short term uh, secured uh, loan. So, now let's take financial intermediaries. Who are the financial intermediaries between individuals, companies, and the likes of government? Now, financial intermediaries uh, include companies. Government and individual, okay. Companies, government, and individual needs money. They need to raise money, and these providers of finance awards, they are also individuals, companies, and other organizations with surplus funds to invest. Borrowers of finance include what includes company, companies governments and individuals that needs to raise uh, money and providers of finance are what are also individuals companies and other organizations with surplus funds invest they don't know what to use the money for and they are looking out for companies individuals uh, that could make use of this money effectively and eff efficiently and that also allows them some returns uh, some interest okay so now although it is possible for borrowers to obtain funding uh directly from an investor it is usual for borrowers and investors or lenders to be brought together by financial intermediaries in the world in the financial market so therefore a financial intermediary is a person or organization that operates between us that operates between savers who are the savers they are what investors because they don't know what to do with their money. It is assets in their hands. Okay, and also borrowers. So they connect with both the savers, that is the investors and what, and the borrowers. They connect them together. So they know who, uh, they know the individuals or companies with surplus funds. And also they know uh, companies or individuals or government that are in need of money. They need to raise some capital. They need to uh, raise uh, money to finance their projects isn't it yes it is thank you my students we are together so their role is to redirect the funds of savers and investors to the individuals and organizations that need to obtain a uh, finance is that clear to you yes sir now let's take banks as financial intermediaries or are they not yes they are yes thank you my grace today we are together so, uh, it is pertinent to know that without financial intermediaries, it would be difficult for businesses to find individuals willing to provide all the money they need. Even when they find the individuals willing to provide all the money they need, you as an individual, would you? No, sir. Why? Because we are, we are Nigerians. They can go away with my money. Okay? I know they won't go away with your money. You know the house now. Oh, Nigerian guys. Even when you know their house, or more, they escalate. Now, 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 we are together, okay? So, we have these financial intermediaries. The uh, savers, that is the investors, uh, will not, uh, because they don't know, they don't trust the integrity. They, they have no confidence in what, in other individuals, especially the borrowers, or uh, like uh, the indiv individual borrowers, companies, even the governments, okay? So let someone be what be be our intermediary. So in the case of any default on your side, it is this intermediary ah by fire by force. <laughs> you know, in other case now. So because I have entrusted my what my funds in your uh -huh. so in your purse, okay, and it is now left to you how to use it. We had to use it, whom to loan or borrow and the likes. Okay, so that's just that. Are we together? So 
without this financial intermediaries, it will, be, it will be difficult for businesses to find individuals willing to provide all the money they need for the length of time that they need it and at the cost they are willing to pay. So these financial intermediaries will have negotiated everything, finished everything, you just come to them and they... Okay. So, now let's take banks as the financial intermediaries. As we all know that they are financial intermediaries and they take deposit from customers and lend this money to other customers in the form of bank loans and bank uh, overdrafts. Are we together? Okay. So if a company needs to borrow, it can go to a bank, the intermediary, instead of having to find an individual or an organization with spare funds for lending. So banks are important financial intermediaries because they are a major source of debt finance for many companies and individuals. Yes or yes, yes. So they also create what so they also create new credit. So the roles of banks in credit creation is unique, isn't it? Yes, 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 yes. Thank you today, my students. You are good. We are going together. We are doing it together at German Shining. Now, thank you. So in performing an intermediary role, banks perform several functions, isn't it? Yes. Now, let me take it this way. Suppose that bank receives new customer deposit of what? Let's say 1 million naira. I like to use my currency because I am in Nigeria. So now the banks can really lend this 1 million naira, but will hold some in the form of cash or near cash investment to cover the possibility that some of the deposit will be withdrawn. Okay. So in this case, they might decide to lend out what to lend out five hundred thousand thousand. Am I? Uh, are you for me, Badon? Yes, sir. Thousand. So they might decide to lend out what five hundred thousand, and we have what we still have five hundred thousand. So that should increase the owner that is the saver wants to what want to withdraw. So that that's what they do. You can. Imagine the number of individuals that will come and save, or, 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 or what do they save money? Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. So imagine I come to save up uh, one million, and you come as well to save two. The other guy came to save out uh, one point five, and the likes. So this is how they do. They turn it over. They turn it over. They turn it over. They turn it over. And when you come back, you want to do. Uh, sorry, that's the ATM. This this uh, machine is out of service. I am out of service, or uh, I'm undergoing all sorts of English uh, or grammar, you know. So now, uh, out of service, out of cash, whatever, whatever. Uh, now, in performing an intermediary role, we are back. We are back in class. Okay, so. Okay, also mind you, when banks lend money, this money becomes new customer bank words, new customer bank deposit. In other words, by lending money, banks create more bank uh, deposits which can be lent. So the new money that is lent becomes more new bank and uh, deposits which can also be lent. Is that clear? Okay, so the role of banks in what? Uh, sorry, in performing what in performing an intermediary role, banks perform several functions. One is that they are what they are able to access one's deposits from customers and lend in much larger amounts to borrowers with their interest. So, so banks also provide maturity transformation, and banks also provide risk transformation for who for saver for who for saver. So we are progressing, right? So banks are an uh, what they are an important source of finance for all types of business and all sizes of what all sizes of businesses all size of what all size of uh, business. So in the case of small businesses, bank loans and overdrafts and possibly lease finance are the only readily available source of borrowed egg capital. We are going on break right now. And when we come back, we continue from where we stop and we are taking other financial intermediaries. Thank you for being together. Thank you for your active participation in class. And have a lovely break. And goodbye.